Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top 5 best survival knife. Starting at number 5. Kabar BK22 Becker. No, you read that correctly, this knife by Kabar is the Becker BK22 Companion. Not Companion. Even if some of the official materials says differently. There was an intern who thought they were oh so clever by using a spell checker, I imagine. The Campanion is a heavy-duty survival knife designed to work for a living, according to Ka Bar. The blade is 5. 25 inches long, and a quarter inch thick. It has a fat drop point and is 1. 625 inches wide, making this a hefty boy. It's good for chopping, prying, and batoning. The flat grind is also good for finer tasks, such as skinning game and preparing food, even though the knife is large. The Campanion is well balanced but might be too large for people with small hands. The holster is mall compatible, making this knife a good match for a tactical backpack. There are actually two Campanion models I prefer the softer sheath, because it has a pocket for a sharpening stone. That stone isn't included, unfortunately. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At number 4. Fountain of an A1 Fine Edge Fixed. The Falcon of an A1 blends Japanese steel with Swedish design for an amazing survival knife that can handle any task you demand of it. You can tell, as soon as you hold this knife, that a lot of thought went into its design. It balances well, and feels natural in the hand. The shape is simple but very effective. The blade is 6. 2 inches long. This may be longer than ideal for some tasks, but the A1 will still work for them. The modified drop point gives you control to the very end. What's notable about the blade is its width. At almost a quarter inch thick, it's extremely tough. A Creighton handle covers the full tang. Combine the tang and blade thickness and you have a survival knife you can use as a bludgeon. This and the straight back almost all the way from tip to pommel lets you baton this blade through any wood in the world there's even an exposed section of the tang, so you can use the pommel as a hammer. The A1 has a VG10 high carbon steel core covered in 420J2 stainless steel to blend the best qualities of both stainless and carbon steels. The Falcon of an A1 is one of the best survival knives and is the toughest one you can find if you like whacking your knife to cut through logs. Halfway of my listed number 3. Survivor HK106320 A. The Survivor HK106320 is a bit small for a survival knife. The blade is made from an unstated form of stainless steel, so that's not the best either, though it is in an effective tanto style and has good jimping. The Survivor HK106320 is not a good primary survival knife. In fact, you can buy an 8-pack of these knives and still not spend as much money as some of the knives on this list this makes the Survivor HK106320 an excellent backup or emergency knife. Especially with the included magnesium fire starter rod and nylon cord handle, which unravels for when you need cordage. You can toss one in your backpack, glove box, boot, each pair of pants you own, and anywhere else you can think of, so you will always have this knife no matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter if you own the best survival knife if you've left it at home. The best survival knife is the one you have with you, and it's easy to have a Survivor HK106320 with you. Coming in at number 2. Ontario Knife Company 499. The Ontario 499 Air Force survival knife was designed as a piece of emergency kit for pilots who might be shot down over enemy territory. It's similar to other Ontario knives, such as the USMC fighting knife, but is made more for survival than for fighting. You can still stick a pig with it, though the 5-inch blade is thick enough to survive cutting a hole through an aircraft skin. It's more than up to the task of processing firewood. Though, the tang is rat tail instead of full, so while it can baton through small logs, you won't want to do this constantly. The handle is made from leather and provides ample grip through a wide range of conditions. The blade is very thick at 0. 1875 inches. The clip point is great for stabbing. The back is serrated, but not deeply enough to use it as a wood saw. The pommel is heavy steel, so you can use it as a hammer if you need to. The leather sheath even includes a sharpening stone 
which you'll need to maintain the 1095 carbon steel edge. The Ontario 499 Air Force Survival Knife is an old-school knife that's been used by everybody from Cub Scouts to military pilots to thrive in the woods. And number 1. Maragnav Companion Fixed Blade. Let's start with what is quite possibly the most recommended bushcrafting knife. The Maragnav Companion. Mora makes no-nonsense inexpensive blades designed for people who need to survive in the woods. There's a lot of overlap between bushcrafting and survival, because bushcrafting is two-thirds surviving, one-third hobby. The Maragnav Companion is available with two types of steel, 12C27 stainless steel or 1095 carbon steel, giving you options whether you prefer corrosion resistance or a better edge. The handle is polymer and rubber, making it comfortable and grippy whether hot or cold, wet or dry. The blade is well-sized for both light and heavy tasks. You can chop through a branch and then whittle it into a feather stick. However, don't baton with a companion unless you have a backup knife. The tang only goes three quarters of the way through the handle. The companion has other versions as well, including the heavy duty and rescue. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below.